Hi, this is Helen Chong from Healing Group and thank you so much for watching our channel. Before we start, I just want to remind everybody to subscribe to our channel if you do like the information that I'm about to share with you. And we're going to be putting more and more videos out to make sure that our consumer market getting educated um, regarding the real estate market. Now today I want to share with you regarding this one project I had done a few years ago and I'm finally putting the before and after uh, videos of how I had completely renovated this 12 unit apartment building. And this building I actually had owned it for many, many years. Um, and it was a class C property. It was cash flowing fine. But when I first bought it, knowing that it was class C property, but it was located next to a class A um, area, neighborhood. So on top of that, I also called the planning department for the city and know that this is on the redevelopment path. But what they told me is that it will take about seven to 10 years for this area to transform. Um, but in the fifth year, uh, I actually got a call from another property owner who offered to buy our property. He was trying to lowball us, but I found out that he actually owned the building across the street from us and he had completely remodeled it and rent it out to college students, professors, young professionals, and getting tip top rent amount. And that's when I started to investigate and I realized that it is time for me to actually put some money in and also um, uh, transform this into a class B property. So that's when we decided that we are going to interview a bunch of contractors and uh, start working on the remodeling project. During this whole remodeling project, we were still able to get in some cash flow, mainly because we started with six units first, while the other six units are still occupied by tenants. And then these six units, after we finished, we filled them, then we start on the second half of the building. So it worked out really well. Not only that, we increased the rent amount from $550 per unit to $950 per unit and that's $400 per unit increased and then times 12 which is $4,800 per month and times 12 months that's $57,600 a year in increase of net operating income. Well because we had completely modeled it the expenses also had decreased. Let's just say that we only increased the net operating income by $57,600 a year with a seven cap in the neighborhood. It shows that we're actually increasing the property value by over $820,000. But because we also decreased the expenses, we actually had increased this property value by a million dollars. So it's definitely very exciting because what you can do is that you can pull cash out now and invest into another property. So I just want to share this story with you guys. I want to share this journey with you. I know it took years before I finally put this together, but I think it's worth it for the wait and hope you guys enjoy bye as you can see that this building has six units on the left and six units on the right with two entrances and the left side is the before pictures and the right side is the after remodeling pictures as you can see here is like during construction and after during construction you see the outside the windows are still old there are a lot of wood chips um, a rod of wood on the window frames and here's the exterior of the door is very old and dirty we changed it to a new one and painted it really brief beautiful orange red and what I love most actually is the entrance is the floor these are hundred year old marble um, flooring and the tile flooring and um, the wood the hardwood real hardwood floor is still there so we just sanded it down and buffed it and it, it looks much better afterwards um, it actually used to have carpet so we ripped the carpet out and here we are walking up the steps this is a three stories building and um, as we're walking up we're, I will show you one of the units so we just pretty much just clean the common area and use a darker brown color to make um, better contrast and now here you see the interior we pretty much change all the interior door all the windows have been changed to double pane windows 
each unit it has over 20 windows so that's a lot of windows to change in 12 units we change over 240 windows and um, that is definitely one of our biggest biggest expense as you see that there's these hardwood flooring that's throughout the property and they are almost 100 year old and we just sanded it down and buffed it and on the left you see that door that door used to be a wall and then it opened from the bedroom where it was a closet but then we actually closed the wall and the bedroom and opened it in the living room and made it into a laundry room instead so now we have this in-unit laundry for every single unit and definitely a value add for this property. And then now inside this bedroom, uh, again, it's really spacious. There's also a closet. All the interior door has been changed. And this room was actually just kind of like an extra room for office, but we added um, closet rod in there so they can use it as a closet and also a study potentially. And um, if we go back to the bathroom, you'll notice that we are using the vinyl plank. These are waterproof vinyl plank. They look like laminate flooring, but they are actually vinyls. And um, they are very affordable. They have different thick thickness that you can purchase. And uh, we have tiled um, the, the, sh the shower area, new bathtub. And you see this window it used to be a, actually a really big window on this side of the building. And we framed it and made it a little bit smaller so the water doesn't get onto the window and make the wood rods. And of course, again, everything in here is brand new, new vanity, new toilet, new um, flooring, etc. Well, as we walk to the other bedroom and uh, you notice those baseboards and the window frame, the door frames, we are still maintaining that original character along with that uh, 100 year old hardwood flooring. As you see that this kitchen, we're using the vinyl plank for the flooring because they are waterproof. And also we use the white shaker cabinetries and also granite countertop, all stainless steel appliances. You see these beautiful subway tile backsplash and undermount um, double sink. And this is a small kitchen, but it's definitely very functional. It even has a dishwasher in here. Um, so that's definitely an upgrade compared to what it used to be. And there is a door that leads out to the back of the building. So there are two exits for all of these units that goes to the back of the building. And um, you'll see that these are the staircase and we had reinforced it. And also um, right now it's still a little messy because there are still dumpsters, but we eventually had cleaned this up and then we striped it for the parking spaces for our, all of our tenants. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you are now inspired to start investing in apartment buildings. Please feel free to contact us for any investment questions and we love helping our investors to build their portfolio as well. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.